throughout this week, I've been noting parallels between the story of Moses, which appears in the first readings for this week's liturgy, and the story of Jesus. I've been saying that the gospel writers, when reflecting on the life of Jesus and its meaning, looked back to the Hebrew scriptures and found in the story of Moses and the Exodus a foreshadowing of some of the events of Jesus' life and a foreshadowing of his mission. And so the first reading for today deals with the Passover. The Passover was celebrated according to the book of Exodus on the night before the Hebrews were liberated from Egypt. There are very specific uh, directions for the meal itself, but the primary part of the meal is the sacrificial lamb. This meal was celebrated in preparation for the journey of salvation from, from slavery and tyranny on the part of the Hebrews. It was a celebration of their liberation. The Last Supper is depicted in three of the four canonical Gospels as a Passover meal. It is a meal that is uh, shared in preparation for Jesus' journey, a journey that will lead him to suffering and death, but a journey that will lead humanity to salvation. One other parallel in the Gospel of John, Jesus himself is depicted as the Passover lamb. John the Baptist, early in the Gospel, declares, Behold the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. And John the Baptist's prophecy will be fulfilled. Jesus is the Passover Lamb, who is sacrificed in order to take away the sins of the world. 